All right, so exponent rules and monomials. And you're this lady. <laughs> okay, anyway, so exponent rules. My face when someone asked me how to use an exponent. So that little girl's pretty cute. <laughs> A lot of times I think we forget our exponent rules, and this is one of the basics in mathematics that I think it's important to understand and, like, really know why the exponent rules are the way they are, especially when we get later into, like, logarithms and stuff, when it will help tie things together, okay? Everything builds on each other in math, and that's the beauty of mathematics that I think is lost in a lot of things. So first, a mono monomial is a constant variable, a product of numbers and variables. So it would just be like... Um, 3x squared here, I'll write a bunch of monomials. So here's some examples of monomials. So it could be like 3x squared. It could be negative 12. It could be 941x to the 719th power. <laughs> it could even be 3xyzqr to the 10th power. That's a monomial. Okay, um... I don't know. It could be anything crazy, I guess, if you wanted to do, like, negative two-thirds, x, y, z, z to the seventh, or y to the seventh, z to the ninth. Those are all monomials because there's just one term. There's no addition or subtraction between them. Doo -doo. Um, a binomial is the sum or difference of two of those, so it's just two of them added together. A uh, trinomial would be three of them, and a polynomial is more than three. Okay? And I went over this in the other video. Also, you're just going to get it double. Sorry, I recorded these backwards. But one term is monomial, two is binomial, three is trinomial, and four is polynomial. Okay? This chart would be a good thing to have written down somewhere in your notebook. Okay? Um, you can also classify them by degrees, which is what I did in the other video. Okay, so let's look at some exponent rules. Um, exponent rules are used to simplify monomial expressions. So exponents, exponents everywhere. <laughs> um, like 8 squared. Let's look at 8 squared, for example. So that 2 means that we have 2 of those. So that's the same thing as 8 times 8, which would be 64. Okay, so say we did 2 to the 5th. Okay, so that would mean we have 5 2's multiplying together. So that's going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, which would be 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. So we can simplify 2 to the 5th to just become 32. Okay, um, so this gets us into what the product rule is. So if we have 2 to the 4th times 2 cubed, well, that 2 to the 4th means we have 4 2's multiplying together. That 2 cubed means we have 3 2's multiplying together. So all together there, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I can count, I promise. So that's 2 to the 7th. Now this one, you can actually get a number out, and if you did, you'd get 128, I think. But we don't need to get the number right now. Okay. And see what happened there is we multiplied 4, or we added 4 and 3 together. Okay. This is kind of building into what the product rule is actually 128. Cool. I got it right. So then if we had 3 to the 4th times, or 3 squared times 3 to the 4th, well, that means we have two threes and we have four threes. Which means all together we have 6 of them. So that's the same as 3 to the 6th. Which is the same as 3 to the 2 plus 4 power. Which if you actually found it would be 729. So the product rule is when you have to add together. And this applies also to um, only when you have the same base. Sorry, getting ahead of yourself. This only applies or works when you have the same base. So we've, if we had 2 to the 4th times 3 squared... Well, we have four twos and we have two threes. They, we still only have four twos and three threes. There's nothing you can combine there. So you can't simplify that one. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, there's no way to combine those. But this also works with just variables. So instead of working with numbers, which we know pretty well, we could do it with variables, which are unknowns by definition. So if we have three x's and two x's, Together we have five x's, so three plus two is five. Cool. So that means if we have three to the n power, where m is just some number, and x to the n power, again, where n is just some number, the product rule tells us that x to the m times x to the n is x to the m plus n. Kind of cool. <clears throat> where m and n are real numbers. Okay, so there is the product rule. And I would make a little chart like this um, to write these down so that when you're like going through your notebook or whatever, it's like, oh yeah, I need to remember this. Whatever you need to do to do that, do it. Okay, let's look at the power rule. So if we had 3 to the 4th to the 3rd power, well, let's just work outside in. So 3 to the 4th cubed, that means we have 3, sorry, I said that backwards, 2 to the 4th cubed. That means we have three two to the fourths. Oh, <laughs> yo dog, I heard you like exponent, so I raised your exponent to an exponent. <laughs> okay, anyways. So we have two to the fourth times two to the fourth times two to the fourth. Now, each of those we can break up. So two to the fourth means we have four twos, so that's the same as two, 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 times two, 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 times two, 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 two. Which means all together they are all together there we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have twelve twos. So that's the same as two to the twelfth, which is some big number, but it's just four times three. So when we have a power to a power, that just means you're multiplying those together. So if we had three squared to the fourth power, well that's the same as four three squareds which those three squares is the same as just three times three. So we have two, four, six, eight threes. So that's the same as three to the eighth, which we could have just cut out all that middle stuff. Two times four is eight. Okay, so then this translates to variables again to our unknowns. So if we had x to the four times three. Well, that's three x to the fourths. And then we have four of those, four x's in each of those. So all together we have x to the 12th, which we could have again bypassed and just done four times three. Okay. So then here, if we have x to the m, again, m and n are just natural numbers, real numbers. And n, so if we have x to the m to the nth power, that's the same as just x to the m times n. Cool. So add to your chart. Quotient rule. So quotient means some sort of division. Okay. So A over B is the same as A divided by B, which is a quotient. Okay. So that's what quotient means. So if we had 2 to the 4th over 2 cubed, well, that's the same as 4, 2. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 over 3 twos, 2 times 2 times 2. And then remember, when you divide a number by a number you always end up getting 1. Okay. I wonder what, yeah, I'm curious the way I did this. So I want to, I'm going to actually write on this for a second. So if we have 2 divided by 2, so that says if I have two pencils and I gave them to two of my friends, how many pencils would each of those friends get? Well, they'd get 1, right? So when we divide 2 and 2, that becomes a 1. When we divide 2 and 2, that becomes a 1. And then 2 and 2, that becomes a 1. And you say they cancel. They really, they do cancel, but it really just becomes 2 times 1 times 1 times 1. Okay, which 1 times 1 times 1 is 1 times 2 is 2. So you're going to hear me say cancel. Canceling really just means it becomes 1. So you just multiply by 1, okay? So then those are gone, they equal 1, 1, so you're just left with 2 to the first power, okay, which is just 2, which is the same as 4 minus 3. Wait, 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 back up. 1 is the same as 4 minus 3, okay, which this is all the same as just 2. 
to another. So three to the fifth over three squared. Well, that's we have three or we have five threes on top and two threes on bottom. Two of them are going to cancel out to equal one. So then we're just left with three times three times three, which is the same thing as three cubed which is also the same thing as 27, but we could bypass that middle stuff and just do five minus two, and you get there quicker, okay? This works with x's, so if you had x to the seventh over x cubed, you have seven x's on top, three on bottom, three of them are gone or they cancel, so I'm only left with four, which would be x to the fourth, which we could have gotten just by doing seven minus three. Cool. So that means if we have x to the m power over x to the n power, it's just subtracting those. It would be x to the m minus n. Cool. Okay, so the last two rules, zero exponent rules and um, negative exponent rules, these especially zero, both of them are pretty cool rules. So say you had two to the first power. Well, we know that is two, right? Two squared would be four. Now, 2 cubed would be 8, as I'm just multiplying by 2 each time, and 2 to the 4th would be 16. Let's see how far I go. Okay, that's as far as I go. Um, now, we can see, let's work backwards. So, 16, how do I get from 16 to 8? You would divide by 2. And then 8 to 4, I would divide by 2. 4 to 2, I will divide by 2. So that means, and what's going on on the left side? Well, 4 minus 1 is 3, minus 2. Here, let's write right here. Like here, for the exponents, I subtracted 1, subtracted 1, subtracted 1 each time. Right? So that would mean that the next one would be 2 to the 0 power. Because 1 minus 1 would be 0. Okay, now on the right side, I just keep dividing by 2. There's a pattern here. This is called a sequence, which is another topic we're going to get to at some point. But 2 divided by 2 is 1. So that means 2 to the 0 power is 1 and not 0. Okay. <laughs> to say, put a positive number as the exponent, nobody cares. Put zero as the exponent, and everyone loses their minds. So any time it is a zero power, the Joker's really creepy, <laughs> by the way. Like, he's, I don't like having him on my screen. But, so anything to the zero power is um, one. Doesn't matter what it is, okay? So then, that's the zero exponent rule, pretty much. Now let's look at the negative exponent rule. So 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Well, if I'm doing this right, I just have to divide by 2. Well, 1 divided by 2 is 1 half. Okay, let's try it one more time. So let's say negative 2. I divide that by 2. 1 half divided by 2 is 1 fourth. If you break a half into two pieces... One of those pieces is the size of a fourth. Here, I'll show you what I mean. So we could go back to here, and we started with one, right? And I'm just going to use a circle. So if we started with one, and then we divided that in half, well, now I'm left with this much, or divided it by two into two pieces, and I just take one of those. Well, if I divide that by two, so divide that into two more pieces, now that's where I'm left with a fourth. If I divided it by 2 again, I would be left with an 8th. And it would just keep going like this, okay? <clears throat> so x to a negative exponent power is just going to flip that exponent and make it positive. It puts it in the denominator and make it positive. And we just discovered this because if you look here, so 0 is kind of a neutral number. Well, we have x to the first and x to the negative first. Well, this one's 2, and this is just 1 over 2. Here we have x to the second power, or 2 to the second power is 4. 2 to the negative second power is 1 fourth. Just flip that number. Okay, so 2 to the first is the same, or 2 to the first is 2, 
And then two to the negative first is just one over two to the first, which is one half. Two squared is four. Two to the negative second power is one over two squared, which is one fourth. Okay, kind of cool. That's just the way, for some reason, mathematicians don't like negative exponents. It's kind of, negatives are harder to work with than positives. So we just made a way to create them to be positive. Or not create them. We didn't create this. This is, was a discovered thing. But anyway, so x is 0 powers 1. So negative exponent flips, 0 exponent becomes 1.